What's the problem in fighting me while I'm 215? What's the problem fighting me at 210? It's, it's, it's clearly uh, 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 them not wanting to fight. It's not me pulling out the fight. It's them not wanting to fight. So as you can see, he was unable to make the 200 pound weight limit, but they're both claiming he was coming in at 215. Now, realistically, anyone can cut 15 pounds of water weight within a fight night, right? Anyone can do that. And canceling a fight a week out because the fighter wasn't able to make weight a week out not only doesn't happen, it's not even real. Rockman Jr.'s contract says that he has to come in the day before the fight at 200 pounds. It, it, nowhere does it say he needs to be within 200 pounds a week before the fight. Anyone that knows anything about weight cutting knows that doesn't even make conceivable sense. Why would you be forcing a fighter to cut weight multiple times in the lead up to the fight? It doesn't make any sense and it's a lie. Rockman Jr. did not pull out of this fight. Guys, if we look at Rockman's career, He's not some high level pro boxer, right? He is a good pro boxer. He's been doing it for a while. He has a decent record against very clear journeymen and has never really sold any big fights anywhere. He's never headlined a fight. He's never made a lot of money from the sport of boxing. I'm not trying to diss on the guy. I'm not saying anything negative about him. I'm pointing out the facts. I'm pointing the reality here. This is a enormous opportunity for a guy like Rockman Jr. where he has the size, the experience, the reach. He has every single advantage. It makes zero sense that he would be scared to fight Jake Paul when he just fought a 20-0 pro boxer in Morrison. He came up short in that fight, but obviously he's not scared to fight. Obviously he's not scared to take risks, let alone against some 5-0 pro boxer that he 